Hey guys, welcome back to another gear reviews video. This week I have the Division Pack from Timbuktu. And Timbuktu is really known for trying to create functional bags that are also sleek looking. So they're more so looking at that in-between type area between like a North Face bag or an Osprey bag and then you know the fancy say leather uh, side bags. They're trying to create bags that work well in an office setting but are still functional for people on their commute or for carrying things daily or going on a business trip over the weekend. So I, I did just buy this bag. I've never owned a Timbuktu bag before. I'm just gonna walk you through the features, my first impressions, and throw some of my daily carry items in it to see how it does. Um, I do still use the North Face Borealis that's in the background as my daily carry. I don't see myself changing, but I wanted to try a Timbuktu bag for you guys and just see how it is, see how it compares, see how it holds up throughout some tests. So right now we'll go through those features and uh, put some stuff in it, and then I'll put a you know review type video in a week or two once I've used it a bit more, you know, put some water on it, things like that, and just really see how it can hold up to uh, some of the similar tests that we did with the Borealis. So let's get right into it. All right, so the Division Pack is quite a bit smaller than the uh, Borealis in the background. The Borealis is, I believe, around 28 uh, liters. So the Division Pack is only 17 and a half liters, almost 18 probably. So you are compromising a lot on size, but with that you are getting a much sleeker design. Like that is a very slim profile when it's all bunched together. Now it does expand a bit so that you do get space but you're gonna notice there is less things that you can carry. For some people that's good. I mean, if you're a student and you really don't wanna carry much, you know, throw your laptop or your iPad in the back, you move on, you know, you go to class, you have a water bottle, that's it, then you'll be fine. Let's go through the dimensions. So it's, as I said, a 17 and a half liter volume. So it weighs around two pounds, so it's not that heavy. Um, I will let you know it does stand upright, so it's no longer leaning on the chair, which is pretty great as uh, it's empty and it's still able to, you know, kind of sit upright. I mean, it's not going to be the best being that it's empty, but as compared to North Face, that will just flop around no matter what. On top of that, it is 11 and a half inches wide at the top, 17.3 uh, inches tall, and about 5 inches thick. In centimeters, it's around 30 centimeters by 45 centimeters by about 13 centimeters across. So as I said, it is gonna be a lot smaller than the Borealis or you know, say smaller bags even than the Borealis that North Fate offers, but you're really trading one for the other here. You're looking more for that sleek design. You're walking into an office building. You wanna look like you belong, but you still want a bag that can function. That's what Timbuktu sells, so that's what we're gonna to put to the test today. So some of the features that grabbed my attention even when I was just in the store with it was the buckle clips. This is metal, this is not metal. So they've went for like a half approach here, I guess. I mean, it is gonna be sturdier. That would be probably the part that I think would be breaking the most. It's nice that the compression straps are metal on one part at least, gives you a bit more dependability. It's the same on the other side for the compression strap. Um, right at the front here, we've got this huge pocket. It goes the length of the bag, basically. It's got a nice bright orange in it, almost like a camera bag. And I believe, yes, there is a bungee cord that is metal. Um, it's quite a nice clip on it. You can see right there. So it is nice. You put your keys on that, you know, maybe a keychain or your um, bus pass, who knows, and you slide it in there and it's safekeeping. It does look like this pocket is fairly big, so it could probably hold some snacks or something. I'm not sure what you want to put in there. Maybe a hat. If it's you know winter, you throw in a toque in there. I'm not really sure. Um, on top of that, they have fairly nice zippers. The pulls are pretty nice. You can see there. It really, uh, it's easy to grab. It's easy to use. So. I mean, A plus there. I will admit that it does have a sleek design. It looks nice. It doesn't have anything crazy on it. So that's a big plus. They definitely got that part right. On top of all of that, they do have sort of like a clamshell opening as it zips 
all the way to the bottom. It's kind of like a file folder. You can see right here that it expands on the sides, which means you're gonna be able to pack some more stuff in there. So that's a positive as it is a smaller bag. Um, if we move into the inside, on this front panel, they do have um, an organizer, it's got some pen slots, got a zippered pocket, probably some pockets for your phone or a wallet, things like that. It's gonna help you keep a little more organized, especially you know in the office or school, or if you know you have your passport, you're going on a business trip, or you're you know flying out somewhere for the weekend, that's gonna help, you're gonna be able to put it in. Uh, something that I think of right off the bat though, is if you have this right here, and you've loaded this front up, how is that all gonna go together? Is it gonna be able to hold everything comfortably? Is things gonna be pushed out? I'm wondering if that's gonna be a potential problem down the road. Then in this main pocket also, you have a sort of, you could probably fit a smaller laptop in there, but I believe it's probably a tablet compartment, iPads, uh, galaxies, anything like that. You slip that in there. It does have some padding on the front and it goes almost to the bottom. Uh, the bottom does have a padded part right there, separate as you can see. That's the laptop compartment and the iPad compartment is right there. You can feel the foam in it, so that's nice. As it's not gonna touch the ground if you put your things in it or when you put it down, it's not gonna jar it up, which is a positive. The laptop compartment itself, as you can see, is heavily padded. They've thought about that clearly. It does have, I mean, a lot of padding, it seems, so that's good. Any trips, they're thinking ahead. Businesses, you're on a train bouncing into people. Your laptop's not gonna get hurt, so that's a big A plus there. Now, if we switch to the back, you will notice it is a simple design on the back. It does look nice, it feels quite squishy, it's got a lot of you know padding again. They seem to really love to pad things at Timbuktu. Um, on top of that, these both also have some padding. Um, being a smaller bag, I don't imagine you're going to be able to load it as full and as heavy. Um, if you do, it might ruin the bag a bit or it might not be comfortable. So I think what they've done is they've matched that. This is you know a sleek daily carry bag and they haven't put too much padding on it to uh, you know help keep it the way it looks, keep it looking sleek. On the straps though, we do have another clip again. Um, it is not metal at all, neither part is, but it does seem that you can detach and attach that if you don't want it, maybe it's too much for you or maybe it's getting in your way, anything like that, easily unbuckle it and then buckle it back up. So that's a plus. Now, there is nothing on this side, but on this side there is a water bottle holder. So I don't think my analogy is gonna fit in this. Um, we will see, I'll put it through just sort of the things I carry daily. Um, I have sort of just compiled it here. It is, uh, I've got my work laptop, some notebooks, glasses, um, you know, portable charger, uh, charging cable for the laptop, a mouse, a uh, pack of like headphones, things like that, small electrical things, charging cords and a Kindle, and then on top of that, I'll see if my Nalgene fits in it. All right, so as you guys will remember, the North Face Borealis bag does hold a lot more, as uh, I loaded a ton of things in it, but then again, as I've said, this isn't made for the same thing, so we will put this in first, and we'll see how it goes. So this is quite a big laptop, um, one of those brick Lenovo's. It fits in, it seems perfectly fine in there, um, it does, you won't sort of impact the back pocket a bit, pushing it out. Um, that would probably be due to the laptop not being completely flat. It does have this battery pack on it. So, I mean, you can easily do it up a ton. It fits, there's extra space even in there. So, I mean, A plus there. Um, let's take that one out and so let's try you know a, nor a more normal laptop here's my macbook and i'm literally it fits easily like glove it is a 13 inch macbook pro um, there's tons of space left over so easily you're going to be able to fit a 15 in there or other 15 inch laptops so if we try this 15 inch laptop i think it's around 14 just slide that in. It again, it fits pretty easily. It has a bunch of extra space as well. 
Um, it doesn't slide as easily as the MacBook, which is just because they are different thicknesses. So clearly, um, it just needs to be worked in a little just to get the you know the way it feels, and it is a new backpack, so that's to be expected with any bag that it's more rigid. All right, so put the work laptop back in, zip it up, go into this pocket. So let's put the Kindle. Slides in reasonably well. It is rigid, and I did say it is pushing in a bit with that one. So that is going to be a little annoying. Um, let's find a home for this. Where can this go? Probably right there. There we go. There's that. Got pen. Slide that in there. And portable charger. Fits there nice and easily. Glasses go right there. Not too bad. I'm gonna do up that front pocket just as I don't have a need for it right now. Um, got a charger and mouse. And we'll sit the bag up. Um, we will put the notepads in. That all fits relatively well. We'll just zip it up a bit and see how the standing function works. All right, so there you go. So it does stand up by itself, which is nice. It is annoying when bags just flop all around. So that's a big positive, I'd say. Um, let's keep loading it up a bit more as that's not everything I take with me every day. Although you will look that it does look rather squished. I mean, the glasses could come out of there and just sit down in there. Um, now, let's try the Nalgene in this side pocket. I really don't think. No, it's it's not gonna fit. So you're not gonna be able to fit your bigger water bottles. So you're gonna have to bring a smaller water bottle if that's what you use, or you might have to carry it or attach it here. Um, it is easy to do something like that. Um, it is annoying because it can bounce around, but at the same point in time, um, beats carrying it. Or you can just throw it inside as there is extra space. As you can see, it does hold a decent bit of stuff. So looking at a daily carry, um, if there's weather uh, that's going to be forecasted for rain or something, I usually like to bring my North Face Resolve 2 jacket with me. So you know, make sure to tuck that in there too. So I mean, it really does hold most things that you're gonna need. It's not gonna hold the water bottle. Maybe you have a travel mug that's smaller, you can slip that in there. So it's really not that much space if you look at it. I mean, it is a smaller bag, that's what they're designed for. It's not gonna fit any of the bigger water bottles, which is a shame. Um, but there you go, there you have it. The uh, Timbuktu Division Pack. Just a first look at some of the features, me throwing in some of my daily carry things in it. Really just um, first glance ideas. Um, actually this padded handle on the top right here is actually very nice, it's really sturdy. Um, so yeah, there you have it. I will be back doing a review on this with you know water testing, putting it in the bathtub, um, loading it full of stuff, maybe you know scenarios like going on a weekend trip or more daily carry type things. So look out for that and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.